Shots fired at five different locations in Mobile in under 24 hours. One person killed, five more wounded. This latest homicide makes 10 so far in the city in 2022. WKRG News 5's Nicholas Schleisman tells you what the police chief is saying about the violence. We feel like it's a setback, uh, but unfortunately we have these patterns and these crime spurts, if you will. And so although we're a little dismayed by it, uh, maybe a little bit disappointed, we're not going to stop. Our efforts are relentless. The first shooting on Halls Mill Road at Maytree Park left two women, one of them 16, injured. Twin sisters Consuela Jones and Allie Jones were arrested. Then, a little more than two hours later, police were called to the M&M Food Mart on Highway 90. Police say two men accidentally bumped into each other in the store, and one of them pulled out his gun after an argument and started shooting. Two women were hurt. Police are looking for 22-year-old Trention King, who they say fired those shots. Friday morning, two more shootings, one on Driftwood Drive. A woman says her home was shot at multiple times. No one was hurt. And another shooting on Airport Boulevard left one man hurt. The fifth shooting, Thursday night, on Weinerker Avenue near Ladd Peoples Stadium. Police say 28-year-old Brandon Davis was shot and killed in that shooting. That makes 10 homicides for the city so far this year, which Chief Paul Prine says that's a decrease from this time last year when there were 12. When you see the reduction of crime, it's not going to be drastic. It's going to be incrementally. The past few months, Mobile Police have increased patrols, conducted safety checkpoints and drug operations. They say those have been making a difference. We're not deviating from our plan. Our plan has been working and we're taking guns off the streets. We're identifying targets, especially recidivist offenders. And we have been making arrests. In Mobile, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.